Okay, so here I want to demonstrate for you cell division or mitosis. Um, there's interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During interphase, there's three steps. G1, S, and G2. During G1, the cell is learning to do its job, learning to do its duty, maturing or growing. During S, the DNA is being synthesized or replicated, so DNA is being made. During G2, the cell is preparing for cell division, getting ready, getting ready to divide, really growing, um, doubling organelles. All right, that, during the second step, during prophase, the nuclear membrane, nucleolus disappear. They disintegrate into the cell. The chromatin is going to become chromosomes. So the chromatin disappears and it coils tightly into chromosomes. Centrioles, remember centrioles make spindle fibers. Centrioles double and move to the opposite sides. And here these chromosomes are going to attach to the spindle fibers. And these blue lines are your spindle fibers. So that's all prophase. During metaphase, these chromosomes are going to line up in the very center of the cell. Very center of the cell right here. So here we are in metaphase. Now here your chromosomes are going to stop for just a minute and, and think, are, is everybody lined up, is everybody ready? Because during anaphase, the next step, they're going to start to pull apart. The chromosomes pull apart during anaphase. Like so, there's your anaphase. Now during anaphase, the cell begins to furrow or cleave, like so. All right, during anaphase, they're all pulled apart, cells beginning to furrow. During telophase, these chromatids now are gonna go back into loosely coiled DNA, which was chromatin, and all the spindle fibers disappear. So those chromatids become chromatin. Oops, I only have one set of chromatin. I want to draw the other one. All right, the nuclear membrane forms, nucleolus forms, but this time in both cells. And then the cell completely full pulls apart. All right, and this last step, this, this cell membrane completely pulling apart is called Tell, uh, cytokinesis. That's the last step is the cytokinesis. And here you have two identical diploid cells. Two identical uh, diploid cells. And that's mitosis.